Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a tour of my slime room so don't forget to subscribe if you like more videos like this one and also look out for a new restocking video because I'm going to restock the Glamour Slime Shop again. And if you want a shout out in the next video don't forget to comment your favorite fruit emoji. So let's just start off with this side of the room. This is just where I make all the slime at. And I was playing with the slime right here because I cannot stop playing with the slime. You guys, it's so good. It's my ultra creamy butter slime. It's just so, 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 so good. So, um, this is where I make all the slimes at. And then down below, I just have some video backgrounds. And I have glitter in that box. And then I just have some spoons right there and stuff to make the slime. Now moving on over here, this box just has stuff that I use to package slime. The light is the lighting's really bad right here, but yeah, this is stuff I use to package slime. This is just like an organizer with stuff. And so yeah, so this is one of my weights that I use for weighing slime. And also I got these little lollipop charms and they're so cute if anyone has any ideas of what slimes i should make with these comment them down below also i got this mini bucket to make mini slime because i started a new series on my channel where i make mini slime so yeah that's what that bucket is these are slimes i have to send out and package still and this is just some decorations a squishy more decorations, sharpies, and this is a slime from Meme Slimes. My sister, I did a slime trade with her, so if you want to see that video, I will link it below. Or you could just go check it out on my um, YouTube channel website. So yeah, that was the top right there. Now moving on to this shelf. This is just where I put all my slime containers, and right here I just have a random jelly cube sponge slime to make jelly cube slime and i have some instant snow which i'm running out of i need to buy some more some clear slime because i was just like testing out different jelly slime recipes and stuff and so yeah these are my containers i have five ounce i'm not sure if they're five ounce or four ounce um containers i have two ounce back right here and right here i have the regular eight ounce um containers now moving on over right here I have all my Daiso clays and some random putties that I made that have not cleared up yet. They're really cute because they have like sprinkles in them. I don't know if you can see that. I also have this homemade Rulakuma squishy, some contact lens solution for the clear slime. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, but my slime shop is borax free. So I do not use any borax. I use... um contact lens solution for clear slimes and then I use Stoflo for white glue slimes so it's way safer than borax. Then right here I just have some random erasers and stuff for slime, I mean not for slime, for pencils. Now on to the next cube or whatever it is. This is where I have all of my extras. Oh my gosh, look at all the extras. Let me give you guys a sneak peek of all the extras. So I have fidget spinners in here, I have candy, I have lip balms, I have bouncy balls that light up. So yeah, I have a lot of extras. And also look out for a how I package my slime order video because that will be up and it will explain all the extras. But if you have any questions, you can also contact me on my slime shop website and that will be linked in the description box. So those were the extras. So yeah, moving on to this side. Sorry if the lighting's really bad. It's like in the middle of the day. And it looks like it's really windy outside. So this drawer is just all the extra. Like the holiday extras, which I'm going to save for when the holiday comes around again. And don't worry, none of them are like candy. Like they're all toys, so they won't get bad. So just stuff like this. So I'm going to save that for next Easter. 
just stuff like that and then here I have the notebook with all the secret recipes of the slimes I have like my thick slime recipes and yeah just stuff like that like my secret cloud cream recipes my ultra creamy thick butter slime recipe just stuff like that over here I don't really have a lot of stuff I just have slimes that I'm going to that I might restock and I'm going to possibly bring them to my slime shop and then this is just something that's available on my slime shop right now and it comes with this butter slime so again you can check that out on my website it will be linked in the description box and right here I have my gallons of glue I just got my glue all in my gallons of glue all and you guys I just ran out of my school glue of oh my gosh I just ran out of my school glue because I was planning all the slimes for the restock so now I have to go buy more school glue but yeah I have some really awesome slimes planned for that like new textures new slimes new what's it called new slime collections it's gonna be so awesome so stay tuned for that and turn on post notifications to be notified when I post my restocking video. So behind all these gallons of glue, well both of them, are my activator gallons. Because like I said, I do not use borax. It is not safe. I use Stoflo. Right there it says, great. Let me focus it. Great for crafts. That's how you know it's not dangerous. It says great for crafts. So if you're worried about it, you can... Stuff flow won't be bad, so yeah. If you want borax free slimes that are safe, then go to my slime shop. So that was this whole drawer. Those bottom ones are just books and stuff, and yeah, I'm not gonna say that because those are just random books there. Also, I want to say before I filmed this video, I didn't clean it, that's why it looks kind of messy, but. If it does look clean, I like to keep everything organized and clean. If I see a mess, it just bugs me so much. So I have to clean all the time because, I don't know, it just bugs me if I don't clean. If I see a mess, it, it bugs me. Like, I clean this like 10 times a day. That's why it might look clean, but it also might look messy because I was just moving some stuff around right now. So, yeah. So this is like how clean it usually is. And moving on over here, so this bin just has stuff that I want to restock on my shop. I'm also going to start selling squishies and just other random stuff like slime supplies. So if you guys want some of that, you, you should stay tuned to these videos. So when I announce that I have squishies on my slime shop, you can come and purchase them because they will always be at cheap, reasonable prices. My slimes are actually way cheaper than normal ones because they're like only $5 and other slime shops have them for like $8 so yeah just saying. And I have some random squishies, more squishies, my Hello Kitty donut squishies. These are squishies that I want to restock on my shop so if you want to purchase them you can come in. All of them are new also. They all still have the packaging if you can see that. So yeah. All the squishies are going to be new and unused. And right here I just have a lot of extra paper. And then right here is this book full of slimes that I want to restock or I want to make. This is whenever I have an idea of a new slime I should make, I write it in here right away so I don't forget. And these are just slimes that I was just making for fun. Jelly cube slime. And this is a really crunchy, crispy slime. Let me show you guys. Okay, listen to this. That was so satisfying. I want to restock some of these slimes. They're just so sizzly. And this is my secret recipe. And I tested this recipe out with different ingredients and stuff at least like six to ten times. So it took a lot of work, but I think I nailed it. Okay, now let's hear this one just for fun. This is hard to do with one hand. Yeah, that was everything in here. Now in this bin, 
I have these labels, but I don't write anything on them. I don't know why. Right here I have all my paints to color the slimes. Or not color. I don't like when people say color. It's to dye the slimes. These are all the scents I use. Yeah, this scent. My favorite one is probably my cucumber melon scent right there. And then back here I have some flower gems that I'm going to put in a slime that I might restock this week. So stay tuned for that. Here are some charms. Let me show you guys up close. Those are the charms I have so far, but I'm going to purchase new charms. So, yeah. And stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see a video on, of me, like, unboxing my new slime supplies that are coming in soon, then comment that down below because I think that would be fun. Here I have some sprinkles that I'm running out of and I need to purchase. And some other random things that are really cute. These really... These are really cute. They're like heart sprinkles. I don't know. So yeah, that's what's in here. And this water for activating the instant snow. Moving on to the next drawer. We just have some glue add-ins. And there's like this mini pan. I want to make mini pie out of slime. Comment down below if I should do a slime versus food challenge. That would be really fun. I might do that. Some marshmallow beads. The... The plastic snow, other random slime add-ins like this glitter snow, glitter, and this is just my slime collection that is not organized right now. These are my mini slime supplies I used to make mini slime, but yeah, this is just really messy right now, so I'm not going to go in there. And, oh yeah, I forgot to say this part, this is right above that bin. And this is a really, really, really good slime that I made. I will show you guys right now. And right here I have an empty bin. Right here I have all my micro bead foam balls. And I have some more containers in here. So yeah, I have a lot of containers, you guys. I think I got too many. So yeah, this is where I keep track of all my sales. I don't know why I cannot stop looking at this. This is just so cute. I really want to make a slime on this. We're at 70 subscribers, you guys. When we get to 100 subscribers, I will do... Um, let's see. I will do... I will do a special video for you guys. Or maybe even a giveaway. I'm not sure about a giveaway. But I will do a special video for sure. So yeah, that was it. Don't forget to comment a fruit emoji. If you want a shout out in the next video. So yeah, bye guys.